Version 2.1 of Client First is released and this video covers the most important changes. This update was crafted by FinSuite, Reloom, and the Client First community. The first big update is color variables. This is great for maintaining consistency across the project. All global color changes are managed with variables using a well-crafted organization and grouping system. We encourage clear naming that describes the role of the color. This helps us understand how the color is used inside the project. For example, this blue is the brand text color. Our next big update is less divs and less nesting. We updated our core structure to remove one layer of nesting. Padding section size will now be added to the padding global div. Control vertical and horizontal padding in one place and reduce one core structure layer. We also recommend using grid and flex styles to create gaps around elements. With this approach, we can avoid using many divs for spacing wrappers and blocks. The goal of this update is to reduce the amount of elements and have clear structures in the navigator. In version 2.1, we optimize the advanced utility classes in the project. Pointer events utility classes are now using native Webflow styles from the style panel. With this update, we removed custom CSS snippets for pointer events. A new group of aspect ratio utility classes was added to the client first clonable. We have square, portrait, landscape, and widescreen. These classes use aspect ratio styles from the Webflow style panel. Lastly, we added a new solution to inherit color from the parent element using the new inherit color class. Check out the updated documentation where all of these updates are described in full detail. Try the new client-first clonable for your next Webflow project.